everyone, it's Hail Heidi. Uh, do you guys remember when we reacted to, what was it? The dumbest things an American has ever said to you? Well, there's a part two, so <laughs> let's, let's do this. Let's react. <laughs> I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I am Italian and I go to college in the US. <gasps> I, I have Italian heritage. That's so awesome. I'm like, I think I'm like 17 or maybe 20% Italian. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I was on a phone call with my advisor to schedule my classes for spring semester, okay? So at some point he goes like, wait, you're Italian. I love Paris. I've been there a few years ago. And I, and I told him, yeah, I love Paris too. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. I've been there a few years ago too. And he goes like, I also took some French classes in high school too. And I was like, yeah, French. Yeah, I know French because I studied it at school. And he goes like, wait, you studied it at school? And I goes like, yeah, I studied it because in Italy, we don't speak French and Paris isn't in Italy. So yeah that's it in italy we speak italian in the capital of italy is rome and he goes like oh my god how could i forget <laughs> how could i forget ha <laughs> ha nice out man nice <laughs> what is the dumbest thing an american has ever said to you oh dear excuse me why do you speak spanish well a lot of my friends speak spanish so i decided to teach myself it's not hard you don't look mexican i'm not i'm black Wait, so you're black and you speak Spanish and your English seems okay. Yes, black people can learn other languages. Well, I mean, like, I guess, but like, it doesn't make sense that you speak Spanish if you're not Mexican. What is the dumbest thing an American uh, uh, has ever said to you? Wow. All right, so I had an American girl message oh. me on Instagram the other day expressing how she's keen for marriage and whatnot. I wasn't interested for multiple reasons, so I thought the easiest and nicest way to let her down would be to state the obvious fact that we're from different countries. So I told her, you're from America, I'm from Australia, it's probably not going to work. And she had the audacity, the audacity to say, it's okay, I can sponsor you. <laughs> can sponsor? <laughs> Is that what they call it nowadays? Oh dear. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Sponsor, bitch, what? Do they not teach Americans that there's other countries in the world where people are living happily? Not all of us are chasing that American dream. Our kangaroos in Australia are more <gasps> civilized than your people and our spiders are nicer than your people. <gasps> I wanna move to America. Sponsor? <laughs> wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. So I am actually terrified of the spiders in Australia because they're huge, but are they, I mean, are they harmful? Because honestly, I don't care if a spider bites you or not. This is completely off topic. I just, I don't like them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> doesn't matter if they're poisonous or not. <laughs> I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I'm traveling in Australia. I'm in a hostel in Brisbane and this is American couple. I ask them where they're from. They tell me they're from Alabama. I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. I've never been to America. And they're like, oh really? But America's so close to Jamaica. And I'm thinking, what? And I say, oh, well, I'm not from Jamaica. I will show you are. You sound Jamaican to me. And I was like, well, I'm actually from Wales. And the girl looks yeah. at me and she starts giving me a glare. I'm like, oh God, what have I said? Like, have I offended them in some way? And they're like, you can't say you're from a fake country. That is so offensive. And I'm like, well, Wales is a, a real country. A fake country? No, it's not. It's an animal. Like, no, it's a real <laughs> country. What a, what it a is also an is. animal. You know. Queen okay. Elizabeth's son, like he's Prince of Wales. Oh yeah, he's Prince of the Animals. Everybody knows that he owns all the whales in the world. I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing in Do you think that people just say things like that? Like, I, I, I mentioned this in the other video too. Do you think people say things like that just to be funny? Like, there's no way, right? American has ever said to you. Uh, there was a Haitian kid in my class and they said, hey, Biko, you're from Kenya. They're from Haiti. So you're both from Africa, right? Someone said I don't count as African American. Oh, guys, I just realized that I don't have the, I don't have the captions on. My bad. <clears throat> ignore, ignore. Please pretend that we've had the captions on the entire time. Thank you. And because my family is from Africa and I was born in America. I had someone legitimately tell me if they didn't want to be slaves, why didn't they fight back? Uh, once people found out that the darker the color, the more heat it absorbs, it was pretty much over for me every summer because someone was going to call out, call out the fact that, oh, you're really dark, so you must be really hot right now. Uh, people ask me if I speak African. What? I, I feel like one per person is enough. Oh, 
Hun, it's too much. I'm so sorry. Ugh. A lot. No matter what the athletic accolade I get, someone is gonna say it's because I'm black. No, seriously, they're just gonna be like, oh, you're dark skin. Of course you're the fastest on the team. Okay. Stupidity is in no way a specifically American trait, but when Americans do it, <laughs> damn, they do it well. They do it well. Oh no! Thing in America huh? has ever said to you. I once flew from London to Houston, and when I got to the border, the TSA agent took my British passport, my um, return ticket to London, and then proceeded to ask me where did I learn how to speak English. And when I kind of said England, she said. Oh, you guys speak English out there too? England. Oh, English. They must have gotten it from us, right? How else could they know English? Man. Okay, anyway. I live in, uh, in Arizona and uh, I graduated high school here, but one of my, one of my first, uh, first days in high school, this, this girl sat next to me in, in English class. She was like, oh, where are you from? And then I tell her I'm from Denmark, and she's like, oh, isn't that in Chicago? Curious, what is it? Wait. <laughs> isn't that in Chicago? Chicago is a city. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. D okay, did she mean Colorado? Wait, also, I don't know if it's Colorado or Colorado. I don't know. Because I know there's... Denver. Could they have been meaning that? <laughs> I bet that they think about that and they're like, oh, why did I say that? <laughs> oh, I love it. What thing an American has ever said to you? Oh my God, I can make a lot of these because I studied in the US as a non-American for like a year. So I've heard a lot of crazy shit, but here's one of them. So I was with a group of Americans and we were discussing whether or not we had seen a celebrity in public yet because we were in New York and sometimes in New York, you can just see like Zendaya walking around the street. And I had just gotten there, so I had not seen a celebrity Lucky. yet. So I was telling them how in Prague, like, that doesn't happen. But then I told them that I had seen a famous Czech YouTuber walking around my neighborhood once. And this girl, this girl was like, wait, Czech YouTuber? I don't get it. And I was like, what, um, what do you not get? And she was like, does he make videos in Czech? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, how does he do that? YouTube is in English. And I was like, no no it's what and she was like yeah like the videos in youtube are english because youtube is in english hello it's for english speakers and i was like fucking i had to explain to this girl that most of youtube is not in english and that like the whole world uses youtube in their own language and she was still confused i'm calling <gasps> it's like okay when you hear that take it take it and be like oh i didn't know that cool move on <laughs> like wait what that's rough I hope that she's doing better now. Curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? When I was a senior in high school. I was a teacher assistant. For Hold on. <sighs> oh, I have to yawn. Oh my gosh. Oh. Last video, I, I was, it was in the morning. Now it's 10 p.m. at night. It's my bedtime. Woo. For one of the U.S. history classes. And let me tell you some interesting things were said by those students. My favorite being this. We were discussing whether or not Puerto Rico should become an actual state and not just a territory of the United States. We're having a perfectly good conversation until this one girl raises her hand. And her question... Her question was, but if we make Puerto Rico a state, where would we put it? Does she mean like on the map? We're looking each other in the eye and we're just like... Oh my god. <laughs> and then she kind of takes a moment and goes, Oh! And we're like, thank god. Like, she, she figured it out. No. Her response was, We could just put it where Rhode Island is. No one cares about Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. Just kidding. No, Rhode Island is great. <laughs> but that is... What? That's... Maybe she's a comedian. Kudos. <laughs> Curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I'm Mexican, and I was working in Tulum. One day I was talking with this girl, and she said to me, I really wanted to visit Mexico in Cinco de Mayo to see your Independence Day. Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, Cinco de Mayo, your Independence Day? Oh, um, actually our Independence Day is on September 16. 
Don't lie to me. I know South American history and I know that Mexico Independence Day. Don't lie to it's me. It's on Cinco de Mayo. Uh, well, actually, no. Uh, <laughs> Mexico is North American. And you, you can Google that. Actually, it, you can see that Mexico's Independence Day is on September 16. Oh my god, do you have Google? Uh, yes, why? I mean, oh, I'm gosh. really surprised that you can speak English and use Google. Uh, uh, it's like the YouTube situation. <laughs> oh, I was made for this. Okay. So when I first moved here, I was in sixth grade and I was getting enrolled to this middle school and I was meeting up with the assistant principal. And basically, uh, she asked me from, from where I was from and I'm like, oh, I'm from Colombia, like I just moved here. And then she's like, oh my God, really? So do y'all live in, in trees and eat alligators for breakfast? <laughs> what? Do you Last live in I remember, trees? I was living in a very nice house eating pan de bono with some chocolisto, but that <gasps> Wait, what's that? That sounds yum. Pandemono? Wait, is that how she said it? Or is that just the... Hold up, hold up, hold up. What is it? House eating pan de bono. Pan de bono? <gasps> is that just bread? Is it just bread? I don't know what that is. Ooh, I want to know though. Wait, I'm no, I'm not going to Google it. We will later. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I was an exchange student in the U.S. and I would randomly get asked by questions. And then one time I said I was Asian because Philippines is in Southeast Asia. And then they literally said, Philippines is in Asia. I thought it was in Europe. Girl, they're getting it mixed up with time, Portugal. I, I got asked, Do you have school? Do you have farm animals in the Philippines? Do you know what an iPhone is? Girl, do you think of a, some sort of a different planet? Like, this is why you need to go to school. God. Ooh. What's a piece of information that you learned that feels illegal to know? I'll if you have like six months to spare and you email Ikea and be like, hey, I think I'm missing a piece of- Oh, okay. I know what this means. This is the end of the American videos. So we will stop here. <laughs> Last time I got really confused. So I'm like, in previous videos, what is this? Okay, well, these are good. <laughs> I like these. I really like them, but I really did not know what pendo, pando bono is, whatever that bread is called. I actually don't know what that means. I'm going to Google it right after this. You guys in the comments, tell me if you like it, if you've tried it before. And then I actually didn't know that like Mexico's Independence Day was September 16th. So I learned something new, but um, definitely if you have someone from the country that you're talking about, don't try to correct them on when their holidays are. Let's not do that, America. Let's be better. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.